What is going on today? I was over on Facebook browsing around one night and I came across this place called Concealed Patriots with an S on the end. And so I decided maybe I should look at joining the Concealed Patriots. Had a little uh, advertisement saying, are you military or prior military? I was like, yes, yes I am. Then they were like, are you law enforcement or prior law enforcement? I was like, yes, yes I am. Then it went on, if you're a family member, this, this, or that, but it basically said you could join and become like a beta tester. Kind of looked over the site, thought about it a bit, and said, you know what? I'm tired, it's late at night, but being a beta tester seems like something interesting for new stuff coming out. Let's see what it's all about. So I ended up ordering for $7 a sticker that allows you to become a member of their group. Concealed Patriots, from what I can tell, is based out of Naples, Florida, supposed to be a family-run business. They promote uh, concealed carry survival type stuff um, and focus supposedly on preparedness. They have a few shirts and I guess uh, whatever you want to call it that they promote uh, merchandise type stuff for their brand to advertise. Um, kind of interesting and neat but I wanted to see what else they have and they seem to offer some different things. One of the things I ended up ordering um, after becoming a member, joining their little club thing, was they had a uh, holster, an ankle holster, and it was $5.95. Uh, so basically under $6 included shipping, and they said to send it out and basically get you to do a review or a test on it. And I figure I'll share that with you guys and take you guys along for the ride a little bit. Something that we can look at together and see if it's worth it or not. All right, so to go over Concealed Patriots and a little bit about what they're about, um, for $7, you can get this little sticker, join their club, and with it, you're supposed to take a picture, kind of hype and promote them a little bit, I guess. And then for an additional fee, you can get this sticker right here, the skull sticker. When they offer a skull sticker, anybody in the military or law enforcement will know that skull stickers are something that we always fall for. So for $16.95 or... Fifteen ninety-five. I'll say fifteen ninety-five. I ended up getting two stickers mailed to me. So this is what I initially ended up getting. Overpriced, yeah. Did I get played? I don't know. I wanted to find out more about them. What I ended up finding out is that once you get the stickers and order them and everything, they end up trying to get you to join some other club type things they have. They have a t-shirt club where for $15 you can get a t-shirt that has basically their brand logo on it and you end up promoting it for them. And then after that, for $30 a month, I guess you'll get a random t-shirt sent to you. For $30, I'd rather pick and choose my own t-shirts. Um, I do like the fact that they do offer up to uh, 6XL. I'm not sure how their sizing works and everything, but a lot of places you're lucky if you can find a 3X. Sadly, I'm a big boy and I wear a 4X. The shirt I was wearing earlier in the uh, start of the video Ordered it as a 4X, it's more like a 3X, and a little bit of my belly sticks out the bottom. Something that I hate as a big guy. But to go on with the uh, promotional thing, from there you can end up going to a patch club, where I think for so much money you can get issued four patches every month that are random. I'm not big on patches. If I'm going to get patches, I'm going to go somewhere like Patriot Shit. Um, you can go to Patriot Shit, they're one of the dot-com places, and they offer all types of morale patches and stuff like that. So you can check them out, see what you like. If there's something you like, you know exactly what you're getting versus paying every month to get four random morale patches that you don't know what they are. There's also a sticker club that they had. The sticker club kind of gives out, I guess, four stickers every month. You can pay money to get and everything. On the same boat, I got all kinds of gear and stuff I've bought for vehicles, firearms, and other things. And most of the things I buy come with stickers, so... Whether it's Under Armour, whether it's Heckler & Koch, Sig Sauer, Colt, anything else, I've got stickers. Edelbrock, Fox Shocks, I mean, hundreds and hundreds of stickers I have, so I'm not interested in buying and paying for stickers. You can get those things for free or randomly. If you have friends or something like that, you can probably get stickers. But like I said, they offer these different clubs and stuff, maybe kind of like a Battle Box type thing. Um, I'm not a fan of Battle Box either. Why pay a whole bunch of money to get random stuff that you may not like when if you know what you want, save your money and get what you want. 
But after joining the uh, Concealed Patriots, one of the offers they had was for an ankle holster thing. And it was $5.95, including shipping, taxes, and everything else. So for $5.95, I ended up getting this, and let's do an unboxing on it. Alright, looks like we get a little thing in here, and we'll open this up too. Alright, let's get this open. A little pull thing here. Let me give you a little card thanking you and joining them. Also got one of these with uh, the original sticker thing that I got. And this right here looks like the ankle holster that they give. It's Velcro. Got a little bit of stitching things on the inside here. It's kind of soft. Normally I like to go through and take a little bit of a, a lighter and kind of wear off some of the ends. Some little... Uh, Pieces of string, not a big deal. It's at least trimmed and sewn off. Overall, on the outside of it, the stitch works all good on the uh, the outside, as far as I can tell. Just a little bit on the inside. And like I said, it's not that big a deal. Obviously, this is probably something that's made more on the budget side and everything, but it may have some purpose and use to it. Um, I'll get a few pistols out, maybe, and we'll see what fits into it. All right, let me go over a whole bunch of different pistols I have here and see what's compatible with this holster. So far, it doesn't seem that bad. Um, we'll figure out and go from here. This right here is a Golok 42 with a laser on it and everything. It fits in there, kind of big for it overall, but it does fit in there okay. The SIG P230, pretty good little 38, kind of light, fits in there pretty good. The Walther uh, PPKS, a little bit heavier. It seems to fit in there okay. I wouldn't recommend putting a heavy pistol like this one right here in there from prior experience with holsters. We'll see if this Ruger SP101 fits. Eh, it's kind of a tight fit. I would say the Ruger SP-101 does not fit. Try a little Taurus Ultralight Titanium, or Taurus Titanium. Eh, it fits, it actually fits a little bit better than the uh, Ruger does. It could be an option, depending on how it's done, but yeah, it seems to fit all right. This one has a wider cylinder than the Ultralight. This is the total titanium that they have. This is a Colt Government 380, has the longer barrel on it and a little bit longer grip. Yeah, I'd say it fits in there okay. Same thing for the Colt Mustang with the uh, laser grip that they have on them. Fits in there good. The smaller ones seem to fit in there a little bit better. Same thing with the Colt uh, XPS, the polymer version of it. Seems to fit right in there, semi-snug it seems. The uh, SIG P328, or 238, another 380, similar to the uh, 1911 style. It seems to pull and snug in there decently. They do have a little uh, triangle cuts here, so it does kind of snug the pistol in a little bit better. Try North American Arms, little uh, 22, I'll say it doesn't fit. It kind of slips through almost, so it would definitely be a, a no-go to try in there. Uh, North American Arms, kind of similar to the old uh, C Camps and everything. So right here is a 380 caliber. Yeah, it seems to fit in there pretty good. Like I said, I'd be comfortable with that. These are kind of heavy. You might flop around a little bit more. Um, let's see, we can try the Bobcat from Beretta, little 22. I don't really carry a 22, but you never know. Yep, it fits in there just fine. These are nice because they're aluminum frame. They're kind of light and everything. 
let's see the uh, cars they're pretty nice overall this is a 380 and this is the CW 380 the CW 380 is a little bit cheaper simpler made it's one of the carry guns I have that'll stippling to it that fits in there pretty good and this car is going to be about the same other than it's smooth and has some uh, forged parts versus cast parts on it now yeah, overall I'd say a lot of these small pistols fit in here pretty good the uh, lighter ones are probably going to be better I may end up uh, picking one or two of these or I'll tell you what leave a comment down below and tell me which one of the pistols I have you want me to give a shot at ankle holstering um, I'll do two pistols if you tell me what the pistol is you want um, I'll figure out what the top two pistols are and I'll do a later video kind of combining them all and everything so hit me up and let me know in the comments below which pistol you'd like to see out of the ones I test fitted in here um, or if there's any other pistols that you saw in some of my videos and I'll give it a shot on this um, normally on an ankle holster you'll put it like if you're right-handed you'll put this on your left ankle and it'll be towards the inside so that if you were to squat down or lift your pant leg up you'd be coming in to grab it um, from this side right here so the pistol would kind of sit where it's ready to be grabbed and pulled out from your primary hand on your non-dominant leg and that's kind of how it's carried and everything but like I said the, the quality of this is pretty decent overall like I said the outside stitching is good the inside there's a little bit to touch up and everything I don't know I'm anal on my stuff from being in the military about having threads and stuff sticking out but for five dollars it seems promising um looks like it'll fit different sizes and everything the real question is going to be how well does it retain it because they can kind of flop around a bit on your ankle so the smaller and lighter the pistol on your ankle the better off you're going to be I'm trying to run around with a, a big j frame uh revolver that's kind of heavy or a semi-auto like the ppks is not going to be feasible but any one of these other uh smaller lighter pistols like i said they can hold up pretty good in it and might end up being good like i said this one right here is misleading it's a lot heavier than you think the north american arms one similar to the sea camps they're heavy robust pistols but like i said i think the xps would be a good candidate for it i think the cars would be a good candidate for it the uh sig might be a little heavier the 1911 styles the colt ones are smaller sig kind of bulk theirs up a bit made them a little bit more squared off and a little bit heavier so to me it wouldn't be a good candidate but like i said whatever you guys pick down below i'll roll with that and give it a week or two of testing going out walking dogs running around and seeing how it holds up and everything appreciate your support don't forget to like subscribe and share cav cop out